Hello, how are you? My name is Sarah from Sarah's Reading Nook and today I'm going over a reader's morning routine. So today I would like to chat about my morning routine and why I love mornings. Yes, I said it. I actually love mornings and this never used to be the case. I used to be someone who would sleep in as long as I possibly could, clinging on to every drop of slumber I could until the dreaded wake up and get up motions of each day. But as I have gotten older, I've been able to see the benefits of an early rise and I'm going to be sharing my routine with you all in hopes that you might take a few tips or tricks away with you. So my cat Olivia, she is the star of each and every morning. She sleeps beside me at night and we cuddle for a few moments before getting up and out of bed every day. Olivia has different places she likes to hang out and lately she has claimed our bed as it is a bit more roomy than her cat bed from Ikea. So reading while cleaning dishes, countertops, and laundry. Every morning, I like to do a few things that will make my life easier when I get home, and I often do so while listening to an audiobook to make my mornings even better. So first, I like to make my bed. Olivia doesn't mind for too long if I tuck in the corners while she is on top. Once that is done, I like to clean my kitchen from the top to bottom, though this fluctuates depending on how much time I have at my disposal. I like to give myself a decent amount of time before I head to work consistently, but some days I find the mornings a tad bit more rushed. The absolute essential must do cleaning activity of the day for me is loading and unloading the dishwasher. If that does not get done on a regular basis, the dishes pile up and I cannot explain to you how they appear to multiply so quickly, but they do. We like to use Method Cleaning Products and Ecos Laundry Detergent as they're friendly for the environment. They also have a fairly pleasant smell and are not overbearing. cleaning robot to clean areas difficult to get to, such as our bedroom and underneath our couches. So we can let him go wild on a regular basis to keep the cat hair at bay. Coffee time. If you have watched my previous vlogs, there won't be any major surprises here. However, we do have a new addition to our coffee machine family, an espresso machine. We use a DeLonghi espresso machine. No idea if I'm saying that right. It is the Dedica, Dedica, don't know, manual espresso machine in black, which is slim and fits fairly nicely into our little kitchen. We may also choose to use the frother, which is a real treat since, of course, we have not been frequenting our coffee shops this past year. We use a silk almond creamer, which is vegan and tastes delicious. I've tried many, many different types of coffee creamer, but I personally enjoy almond milk the best. So journaling, breakfast, and meditation. Each morning, Olivia and I like to journal and make sure our bullet journal is kept up to date. We start by looking at our tracker and filling it in with activities from the day before and whatever we have done that morning, including meditation, cleaning, and journaling. It only takes a few minutes, and the key here is this. Simply having a routine when tracking daily habits so that we can look back at the end of the month and have an idea of how our month went. You 
do not need to be perfect with this. And some days you may not feel like tracking or even forget to do so. If you have your journal out with you, or even if you have it in your work bag or at home beside your work computer, it might be easier to track these habits. When journaling, I like to listen to a meditation or affirmations podcast. My favorites are Meditation Minis Podcast with Shell Hamilton and Affirmation Pod with Josie Ong. I listen to the Affirmation Pod when I need a bit of a pep talk in the morning. Affirmations are really helpful for times when you find yourself worrying or subsiding to negative talk. For example, the affirmations may be saying out loud the following. I am grounded. I am anchored. I am anchored and I can see what I need. I can see what I need and set limits. I can set limits and give myself what I need, etc. This is from episode 322 from the Affirmations Pod, Mental Health Pep Talk. Meditation Minis is a great podcast for when you would like to manage stress and anxiety levels, lengthen your attention span, which is wonderful for reading, and enhance self-awareness. If you ever find yourself floating away from the present, meditation can help bring you back and feel grounded. For breakfast, I love to either make oatmeal or have a pancake. Here I have a leftover portion of a pancake that I'm eating for breakfast, and I will also have a little bit of fruit as well. Exercise. During my walks, I like to listen to an audiobook so that I can get in a little bit of reading during the day. At present, the audiobook I am enjoying is A Promised Land by Barack Obama. So in this book, Obama beautifully and expertly provides a written account of his political life. I am currently building up my exercise tolerance and I'm getting back into daily exercise habits. Doing a little bit of exercise each morning is very helpful as it's one less thing to do and you can feel a sense of completion. Finally, my morning skincare routine. Because the mornings can go by so quickly, I make sure that I always at least moisturize my face and that I wear SPF on my exposed skin using a face SPF bar. If time isn't an issue, I like to do my full skin routine, which is the following. So first I use Coconut Essence Hydro Mist from Pacifica. Then I use the Buffet Serum from The Ordinary, followed by the Argiraline Solution, also from The Ordinary. My moisturizer of choice is the Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream from Pacifica. Then finally, I like to make sure that I am wearing SPF so I use the original SPF 30 sunscreen face stick from Sunbum, as well as their SPF 30 sunscreen lip balm in the flavor Key Lime. And all that is left to do is have a glass of cold water, put on my mask, and go to work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and hopefully can use a tip or two if you found it useful. This entire morning routine is present on my blog, which is sarahsreadingnook.com. The link is provided down below in the description box. This video is a part of Bookish Planuary, which is running on our channel from January the 3rd to January the 23rd. Please make sure to check it out. I have links below that go over what Bookish Planuary is and also some trackers for productivity. In this series, we go over our bookish goals, we set TBRs, and try to find ways that are productive to go about starting the year. And the ultimate goal is to really just optimize your reading year and craft a year that is consistent with your goals. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like and to subscribe. We would be so happy to have you here. And a question for you. What is your morning routine like? Are there any essential must-dos that you do every morning to start your day? I would love to hear that below. That's everything for today. Bye!